Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're getting into something pretty big in sports. How tech, uh, specifically AI and wearables, mm -hmm. is really changing the game. Completely shaking things up. Yeah. And this Deep Dive is inspired by some great insights from 4IRGPT.com, particularly a prompt called Revolutionizing Sports with Technology by Martinique Dupreez. Mm. So big thanks to Martinique for that. Mm. We want to give you, our listener, a really clear picture of how these tools are affecting athletes, teams, you know, the whole ecosystem. Absolutely. And look, we know you want the key stuff, the fascinating bits, without wading through everything. So we've distilled it down. We're aiming to pull out the most important, uh, the most impactful changes happening right now. Exactly. And before we jump in, just a quick mention of our sponsors. TalkchainCompany.info, that's our hub for media innovation. And the 4IR utility token, which kind of powers everything. You can learn more about the utility network itself at 4IRtoken.com. Right. And if AI is your thing or you're curious about sharing and maybe even monetizing your own expertise, definitely check out 4IRGPT.com. It's all about prompts of intelligence. A really interesting platform. Okay, so where do we start? Training seems like the obvious place. It's not just laps and drills anymore, is it? Not at all. It's getting hyper-personalized. Think about AI crunching, well, everything past performance, how an athlete moves, those biomechanics. There's theological markers too. Exactly. And using all that to build a training plan that's like tailor-made for that specific person. It's moving miles away from those old one-size-fits-all programs. The real benefit here is optimization, right? Pushing the athlete effectively, but also, crucially, cutting down injury risk. Yeah. Finding that sweet spot. AI helps figure out the perfect training load. And it's dynamic too, isn't it? It's not just set it and forget it. Right. That's a key point. The system can look at real-time data from wearables. Maybe someone's heart rate is spiking or they seem fatigued and adjust the intensity right then and there. So it's responsive. It listens to the body in a way a static plan just can't. Precisely. Which uh, leads us nicely into injury prevention. That's always the big worry for athletes and teams. Huge. And this is where AI gets quite predictive, actually. How so? Well, by constantly analyzing that data stream from wearables, the AI can spot these subtle patterns that often pop up before an injury happens. Like what kind of patterns? Things like um, slight changes in how someone's moving, maybe signs of fatigue the athlete doesn't even feel yet, or sudden spikes in workload, stuff that could easily be missed otherwise. Seems like an early warning system. Basically, yeah. It shifts the focus from reacting after someone gets hurt to proactively stepping in before it happens. And the wearables themselves play a role, too, with sensors tracking movement. Definitely. Those biomechanical sensors can pick up on improper technique, things that might lead to strain or worse, and provide feedback to correct it. Almost like having a biomechanics coach watching you 24-7. Kinda, yeah. Which also feeds into tracking performance itself, not just injury risk. Right. That real-time data is gold for performance insights. What are we typically seeing tracked now? The common ones are heart rate, speed, distance covered, power output, you know, the core metrics. And that gives coaches and athletes a much clearer picture minute by minute. Yeah, for making smarter decisions, whether it's adjusting effort mid-session or even during a competition, it's about informed choices. And the future likely holds even more granular data, right? I've heard talk about muscle activation. Mm -hmm. Muscle activation, hydration levels maybe. The tech is always pushing for deeper insights into what's happening physiologically. Which is amazing, but all that output requires effective recovery. You can't just train harder and harder. Absolutely critical, and tech's moving into that space too. How are wearables and AI helping athletes bounce back? Well, sleep tracking is getting really sophisticated in wearables. Monitoring sleep stages, heart rate variability overnight, all key recovery indicators. And the AI then makes sense of that data. Exactly. It analyzes it and can suggest personalized recovery strategies. Not just generic advice, but things tailored to how that specific athlete is recovering. So maybe suggesting active recovery or specific stretching or even just prioritizing more sleep based on the data. Right. Some devices even have biofeedback features now, guiding athletes through like breathing exercises or meditation to manage stress. Which we know is hugely important for recovery, too. It's becoming a much more holistic picture. It really is. And part of that picture is nutrition. How is tech changing how athletes fuel up? This is still emerging, but the idea is smart nutrition tracking. Wearables might eventually have sensors analyzing biomarkers linked to nutrition or hydration. Wow, okay. So direct biological feedback. Potentially, yeah. 
and AI could then use that info for super precise diet recommendations, matching fuel intake to training load and recovery needs almost in real time. Imagine knowing your metabolic rate constantly. Mm. That would change nutrition planning entirely. It's moving towards that level of precision. But this isn't just about the individual athlete in isolation, is it? How does tech help the wider team, the communication, the support structures? Good question. One big thing is remote coaching. AI platforms let coaches monitor athlete data and give feedback from anywhere. Geography becomes less of a barrier. That opens up possibilities for athletes training far from their main base. For sure. And then there are the connected apps. They often link to the wearables and create a sort of community. Ah, so athletes can share progress, maybe motivate each other? Exactly. Building that virtual support network, which can be really powerful. Okay, so we've covered fitness, recovery, nutrition, communication. What about the actual skills technique? Can AI help there? Oh, definitely. AI video analysis is becoming a big tool. It can break down footage of an athlete performing a skill. Spotting tiny flaws in technique that the human eye might miss. Precisely. And giving really targeted feedback for improvement. It's like having super slow motion analysis combined with expert coaching insights. That's powerful. And then there's the VR angle too. Yeah, virtual reality combined with AI. Athletes can practice skills, even complex game scenarios, in these immersive VR environments. Safely, and with lots of repetition. Exactly. It's a controlled space to drill technique and decision-making without the physical wear and tear of doing it all on the field or court. Great for accelerating learning. Makes sense. And all this data-driven stuff must heavily influence game strategy and competition prep, too. Oh, massively. Think about AI analyzing opponent tendencies sifting through huge amounts of game footage and stats to find patterns. Strengths, weaknesses, how they react under pressure. Right. It gives coaches and teams a much deeper understanding of who they're facing, leading to way more informed tactical decisions. It's like next level scouting. And could wearables even provide real-time feedback during a game? That's the potential, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting live data on your own performance, maybe even opponent positioning or game flow, allowing for instant strategic adjustments. Though regulations around that are still evolving, obviously. Sure, makes sense. Okay, this is clearly a revolution for the athletes. But what about the people around them? The coaches, the medical staff, their jobs must be changing dramatically. That's a really crucial piece. Their roles are undergoing a huge transformation. It's becoming much more data-centric. So they need new skills, like data analysis. Absolutely. They need to be comfortable interpreting all this information coming from the AI platforms, from the yeah. wearables, it's not just intuition anymore. It's data-driven, insight-informing decisions. And probably more collaboration needed between, say, the coach, the sports scientist, the physio. Definitely. They need to work together to synthesize all this data into a coherent plan for the athlete. It breaks down silos. And coaching itself becomes more personalized, right? Mm -hmm. Moving away from just team-wide drills. Totally. Coaches can use the data to tailor plans for each individual adapting them on the fly based on real-time feedback. They need to be more uh, agile. In the medical side, it's not just fixing injuries, it's more holistic health now. Yes, exactly. Using wearables to track sleep, stress indicators, nutritional markers. It's about proactive wellness management, using data to spot potential issues early. Mental well-being is becoming a bigger part of the data picture too. So coaches and medics almost become tech educators as well, helping athletes understand their own data. Yeah, they have to bridge that gap. They need to be sort of tech trainers, guiding athletes on how to use the tools and interpret the results. It's a key part of the role now. And you mentioned recovery earlier. Could we see specialized recovery coaches emerging? It seems plausible, doesn't it? Given the focus and the amount of data involved, having specialists who focus purely on optimizing recovery Seems like a logical next step for some teams. And communication changes too, I imagine. More objective, data-backed feedback. Yes, data provides a foundation for those conversations. But it's also about empowering the athlete, helping them understand their own numbers and take ownership. So, coaches are becoming data analysts, strategists, using AI for opponent scouting, maybe even using simulations. Right. It's a far cry from just drawing plays on a whiteboard. Uh -huh. They're becoming tactical analysts in a much deeper way. Which must fundamentally change the relationship between the athlete and the coach. How is that dynamic shifting? Well, athletes definitely seem to be gaining more autonomy. When you have access to all your own data, you're more empowered to manage your training, your recovery. You understand your body and performance better. Exactly. Which can lead to more collaborative coaching models. 
The coach becomes less of a dictator, maybe more of a facilitator or guide. Helping the athlete navigate the data rather than just telling them what to do. Precisely. It fosters a more dynamic environment with constant feedback loops. And maybe it frees up the coach to focus more on those qualitative aspects, the mental side, technique nuances, strategy. While the tech handles a lot of the number crunching. Right. And digital platforms are central now for sharing plans, analytics, updates. It creates this shared accountability. So the lines blur a bit. Coaches maybe become more like mentors, focusing on the whole person. It seems that way. Those interpersonal skills, trust, empathy, communication, become even more critical, perhaps, especially when dealing with complex, sometimes sensitive data. Because the tech is powerful, but it's still a tool. The human connection remains vital. You still need that coach's guidance to make sense of it all, right? Absolutely essential. Technology provides insights, but translating those insights effectively, understanding the athlete as a person, that's still the coach's art. And we might see more specialization within coaching staff, but ultimately adaptability seems key for everyone involved. No doubt. You have to embrace the tech, but keep the human element front and center. It's about finding that balance. So to sum it up, technology is really rewriting the rules in sports. More data, more personalization, more efficiency, but also big shifts in roles and relationships. It's a fascinating time. And again, a quick thanks to our sponsors, blockchaincompany.info and the 4IR utility token. Find out more at 4irtoken.com. And remember, 4irgpt.com for exploring AI knowledge and prompts. Okay, so here's a final thought to leave you with. Go for it. As athletes get more data, more autonomy, how does that change what we even consider athletic achievement? What happens to the spirit of competition itself? Mm. Where's that balance point between using technology to enhance performance and, you know, the fundamental human element of sport? That's a deep question, something yeah. definitely worth thinking about. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, everyone. We hope it gave you some food for thought. Yeah, keep exploring.